just tying his shoes real quickly. Smashville for game one. For DD, short for Defective Dagger. Uh, shortened his tag quite a little while ago, but. And interesting. The solo Ike tag not going to be coming true. We're going to see the hero from Ike Tyson against DD's Wario. Hero, of course, a matchup that few are familiar with, including hero users. So we'll have to see how Ike handles this. Meanwhile, it's Didi that starts off this game well. Gets a quick grab and 38% as a reward, but Ike not going to let that go without a fight. Good air dodge back to the ledge, but caught by the nair on Didi's part. Looking very in control. Didi, of course, just played an entire tournament where Hero was not legal in EVO, but of course he does know how to weave around some of these spells. Out there through the platform, not going to connect. And this is where Ike Tyson can start. Only for a moment, though. Woosh is back to stage. Dash attack going to be met with that fair. And another fair. Interesting choice with the metal slash. That was most likely in this input. Grabs hold of the bike. And will he go for it a second time? Air dodges right out of the way, but into the nair. Out of the way of the bite. Just waits out the snooze as well. And now he has a full Kafriz charge. Four tilt gonna miss. Down tilt likewise. Interesting choice to go for the for the whoosh in neutral, but the back air from DD going to close it out above a hundred percent, but still a pretty dominant performance as well as neutral goes. Didn't get as many advantage options as I think he was hoping for. Goes under the stage entirely. Wario players can, of course, do that with a bike. Up air from Ike. Looking for an air. And interesting, he might try to go for a half waft setup here just to close this out really early. Misses with that up smash. We're going to eat that forward tilt from Ike as a punish. Chooses Psych up as a spell. That means his next attack will be buffed. Hero, of course, with a plethora of kill options at 147, and Ike fully cognizant. Back air, certainly one of them. If you can go, go around those frames, you will get your reward, especially with the Psych Up boost, even stocks. And now Ike misses the thwack. But the Kafir is going to hit. Misses the waft as well. You can tell DD wanted that offstage, but Ike just missed time the charge and just didn't have enough juice he is back at full mana so that should aid him quite a little bit up tilt from dd back air from ike as well kaboom going to send him right to the corner and with that heal on ike's part we are almost at an even game 16 percent and that's going to be made up in just one fair or one Nair, rather. A couple, three up airs in a row from Didi. Pops on the bike only for the moment. Doesn't like any of those spell options, so Ike just going to exit out of the menu. Nair just waits out the bike, extends the hitbox. Down tilt. Two dash attack heals off stage, so that'll bring him back to double digits. Possibly out of the range of some of those crucial key kill confirms that Wario has. He gets around the bike as well. That's a great help to him. Still great disadvantage play. Gets out of that. Not entirely unscathed, but alive, and that's all all that matters. Nair from Didi going to send him off stage. Around the bike once more. Up tilt. And gets the waft to finish it off. Didi. Looking like he knew that matchup a week in already. His advantage play wasn't exactly stellar, especially towards the latter half of that matches, but he got the waft when it counted. Didi a game up on Ike's hero. Interesting if we're going to see Ike 
go back to his quote unquote comfort pick with his old main, but we will see. I don't think the stage was entirely the problem for Ike. Uh, Smashville, you know, it does have that option to go under the stage, but then again, so do so many of the stages in the new stage list. I believe it's just Kalos that doesn't. I do like the decision to just go for the custom version of these stages if you're just going to pick Battlefield or FD. It just makes it so much, you know, so much more innovative and new, and it's not the same, not the same Animal Crossing music. Ten matches in a row, but I digress. Game two, onto Big Blue Battlefield. Say that ten times fast. Wario, pressing the offensive, waits out the spot dodge at 53% already. DD, an absolute machine, 80% unmatched and counting. And now, how will he do off stage? Gets around the bite, but this bike can occupy so much space, barely able to make it back, and just heals a little bit more. Gets caught with the bike for the first time this set, and once more for the stock. DD, absolutely rolling here. Falls straight into the bite as well. Rolls into the charged up smash. Wow. DD reading this man years in advance and the down back throw rather around the snooze. Forward air from Ike. And now he finally has DD off stage although the bike is back. Good kazap. An even better F tilt from DD. Dash attack coming in. Misses the Back air off stage, but is he too far low? He is thrusted way too far down, and even a swoosh wouldn't save him there. Even three stocks, Ike won. Probably going to need to close this out within the next couple of seconds. Accelerado will boost his speed and jumping ability. Uh, only for the moment, though. Going to need to find some sort of kill. And that wasted Kefriz won't help his cause. There from D. 39% tacked on. 50%. And waits out that. Gets the walk confirmed as well. Didi with a three stock to end it out. And those, those are the types of games you travel all the way from around the world.